Hi, I'm Bonnie Saratori with Spiritual Acceleration. And with me today is my host. She's the one who leads the podcast, Cynthia. Um, today we do want to share, because we're going to be showing you a, an actual uh, video of a true, real clearing that we did with Cynthia. Okay, Cynthia, do you want to share maybe a little bit about what your experience was? And then we'll talk about what that video is. Yeah, so I remember when we meet, met up, we were planning to kind of do something else. And, but I was going through a lot, and you had the idea of just doing a clearing on me. And the intention was to not just do a clearing, but do a demonstration. So you would actually explain while you're doing a clearing on me. You, you would take the time to explain the steps of what, what did you find within my subconscious, within my energy, mm -hmm. within the certain issues. And you would explain like what you're doing, how you're tracking things. And, and so it get, gets a, people a sense of what you really do mm -hmm. and how in depth it is. And right. um, so that's what we did. Um, I do want to say also that I had personal information I didn't want to share. So when people watch the actual clearing part of this video, I, I do make a few cuts, but it doesn't interrupt. You, you could catch everything. But, you know, out of, for, for respect to my privacy, I, there were some info that I wanted to cut out of that, of certain parts of it. So I just want people to know about that mm -hmm. as well. Right. Yeah. So that that clearing, like you were saying, Cynthia, it really is going to give people a sense of what's really going on in a clearing, you know, because I am I am speaking of what I'm finding, what I'm doing, that kind of thing. And therefore, it makes it really understandable for people to, to get a true sense of oh, whoa, that's what's happening. Oh my goodness, he's clearing that. And remember too, the clearing started with a particular issue, but it went really deep, like be, beyond what you would ever think, okay? So that's why the, the clearing to see that and to understand what really happens when you have something happening in your world where you have an experience, you got traumatized or you're having reactions or you're having emotions, you know, you might think it has to do with something in particular, or maybe you think you really know what it is, but I guarantee you, you do not know what the core issue is that's causing you to have the experience that you are having. And I think that's really important for people to understand. And that's one of the reasons why I wanted to do a clearing is because of that. You know, it's like, oh yeah, I feel betrayed. You know, someone betrayed me. Okay, great. Well, we start unraveling and it goes very, very deep beyond just that feeling of being betrayed. And as we clean all of these pieces up, then the body, the, the body feels different, the emotional body, the mental, physical body, everything feels different. There's more of an opening, lightness, feeling more grounded, more in your body. And the particular issue, you no longer have a reaction. You're not feeling the, the, the pain of it, the anxiety of it, or whatever emotion was there, it's gone and you can't find it. That's what yes. clearings are really about. Yes, and also I do want to add that once all of those pieces are done, an experience similar to that won't even come in my reality anymore because I won't be attracting similar experiences anymore. But I do want to um, just clarify a little bit is, um, you know, I, I did uh, ask you about a different issue than what it really ended up being. And so you were able to just look straight at it and say, oh, this is this is actually parental stuff. Let's just mm -hmm. go into the parental issues, even though mm -hmm. on the surface, it, it was nothing it had nothing to do with my parents on the surface. Right. But right. you just immediately looked at it and were like, you know, this is parental stuff. Let's just get to the core. And that's what yeah. I love about you, Bonnie, is you, you're able to really just tune right into what are the, really the core issues here? Let's just go into that. And and really be as effective and efficient with it. Yeah. And then you also were able to specifically say, it's not just parental, it's mostly the mom stuff. And so it ended up becoming a mommy issue. <laughs> <Claire>. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> well, the, under, the underlying cause was the mommy issue, okay? <laughs> and it's, people have no idea though how much they are affected by you know, the issues that, that actually cr were created in the womb of the mother or really, really early on in one's life. And, um, you know, we forget about all that, but here's, you know, here's another piece that's really huge is that when you're in the womb of your mother, you're picking up all her energy. And so you're carrying that into the, into your own life, into with your, in your own body. And 
that's another piece that needs to get cleared out for people is get your get your energy get other people's energy out and most people have no clue that they're carrying around their parents energy but i always love how the issue is never the issue you know it's like it was i can't remember that it was like there were certain things that you were having needing help getting triggered whatever and clearly when i tuned in it's like oh I feel in, oh, and I saw it clearly right there with mom. So I hope everybody really enjoys these next two parts of this video. Um, you'll be seeing the actual clearing next. And then after that will be a week after the clearing. And um, we met, Bonnie and I met again to talk about the results. Mm -hmm. So please watch the whole way through because it's a really interesting um, whole video. It's, a, it's definitely a journey. And you'll get to see very clearly how things changed for me from that one session a week later. Yes, and I can tell yes. you now that more has changed since then. Yes. And, um, yeah, it, it was just that week that, you know, that I yes. talked about in that the second part of the video. Right. So that's the thing, too, I really want to bring to awareness is you'll have these shifts and changes. And like Cynthia is saying, you know, she's showing the one a week later, but shifts continued to happen. And that is what how it works. It could take months before you really know how profoundly you have shifted and changed from that clearing. You know, it just takes time for everything to, to land, but then all the reactions in your life and seeing things in a different way and hearing things differently and understanding things differently, your reactions are different. And it takes time for all of that to to you know to come to fruition and for you become really aware of it. But basically what I think is really important if you watch the clearing, make sure you listen to the the one the what where Cynthia is sharing what she's noticed and how things have changed for her. So that you really get a sense of the power of an actual clearing. All right. Thank you, Bonnie. Please everybody watch the rest of this video. Enjoy and I like this video, subscribe, comment below. <laughs> All right. Thank you. To me, this is like a thing I think that triggered a lot of stuff in me. Like uh -huh. of no, there's nothing safe kind of thing. Right, you right, know? right. Or, or yeah. betrayal is I think a lot of it's betrayals, like uh-huh, uh-huh. And so I'm like, what which how do I know to make the right decision kind of thing? So maybe around could you do something like that? The feeling that happened for you where your body's feeling like you can't trust anything. Like yeah. um, it does have that quality of betrayal. Um, unsafe, unprotected uh, betrayal. Yeah, that not trusting. It definitely has those kind of frequencies, those qualities in it for sure. Yeah. Um, I think there's also like self-doubt in how do I know that I'm making, that I'm doing it right. right. Or something. Right. So that so those kind of feelings, just so you understand, Cynthia, those kind of feelings like, am I making the right choices? Am I doing it right? And what, you know, what should I do? That's all also, that's the that's kind of like the the fallout of these other energies that are underneath that, if that makes sense. You know what I mean? Like 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 if you look at back at someone's life and let's just say as a young kid they got you know, the parents beat them or something. Okay. So they feel they can't trust. They feel unsafe, but then they also get confused about love. So it creates a confusion kind of thing. If love, you know, love is, you know, people who love you don't really hurt you. These are beliefs, but they're not thinking it consciously, but as they grow up and pretty soon they're just finding they can't trust, you know, they're not trusting people or they don't feel safe or whatever. It's the fallout of a deeper wound, if that makes sense. Okay. So the, where you can't make a decision, you're questioning, you know, what are you doing? Are you making the right choices? All this confusion, but it's that all that can, what I'm saying is, is all that questioning is sitting on top of the deeper issue, the deeper wound, if that makes sense. Okay. So as it is with everything, okay, people, people go into, you know, their thoughts, their beliefs, spinning, spinning stories, that spinning is all about a deeper, deeper issue that's buried underneath. Okay. So, you know, when someone says, yeah, I can't make decisions, that's not the issue. There's something deeper going on. Okay. So on some level, that company represents mom, dad, as everything does, if that makes sense. Okay. So even thinking about like, even when you think about your, your parents, 
Cynthia, like right now, if you even think about your, your dad or your mom, and when you think about them and you're just kind of noticing how that makes you feel, some of those emotions that are in there, they might, you might start noticing that there's some kind of familiar energy, familiar emotion, sensation. If that yeah, makes sense. Yeah, I could sense that. Uh huh. Yeah. So again, you know, it's like mother, father, God. Okay, this is their everything. So whatever that connection relationship was is going to be the foundation of your entire life. And it'll present in different ways, but it'll also feel as though it's about that. That's what's happening. Okay. But that's not really the issue. It still comes back to mom, dad, mom, dad, God, God, God. Okay. So our connection to that, you know, it's a foundation of our entire life. So when you think about mom, I mean, let's, let's play with this just a little bit. So when you think about mom and you hold your awareness of what's, what's happened with the company, everything, and then you feel and feel into your mom, how does that, what, what do you notice? Like what's still there residue or issues or what, what, you know, frequencies with your mom? Well, first thing is angry, but I know that's not ever the, yeah. you know, that's kind yeah. of a surface thing. Yeah. So if you, if you let the anger be there, okay. If you just let it be there. And knowing and understanding there's something deeper, you can actually take your awareness and go under the anger. Okay, so if you go under that, when you think about mom, when you go under that energy, under the anger with your mom. The sadness. Mm -hmm, exactly. Okay. It's sort of and like a, I can't trust there's a sadness and i can't trust or something around i guess both issues exactly it's like i don't know around trust my do i not trust my mom or do i not trust that i'm not sure the angle of trust that that is related to that part but i could feel a mm -hmm. sense of i can't trust right okay mm -hmm. so so as you're talking cynthia what's happening is i'm I'm seeing a much deeper wound and really deep, deep, deep in the very core. Okay. And it really does have, it, it, it does have that frequency of trust. Okay. So with your mom, that like, let's just play with that a little bit. So when you think about your mom, okay, think about mom and now you underneath the anger, now you felt that feeling like you just can't trust. Okay. So just, yeah, yeah I think so just, what came up now while you're just talking is she never trusts me. Mm -hmm. So maybe that has something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. And okay. And even that not trusting you, that's also going to have an emotion in it. Your own mother in some way isn't trusting you. Okay. So there's also another emotion in that. Okay. But let me just clear out and I, I'm just going to go ahead and talk out what I'm I'm going to describe things to make it so that it's easy for people to understand. So as Cynthia is talking, I'm watching the energy and it's in the very core of her, like really deep, 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 deep core, core, core. I see this frequency in the very core has a lot of darker energy in it, has a lot of emotional pain in it, has a lot of hurt you know, like hurt in it. So I'm going to go in to that energy of that pain. And I'm going to be asking questions like, where did this begin? Did this begin in this lifetime? I'm, I'm working directly with super consciousness, higher levels. I'm getting, no, this is past life. So what I'm doing now is I'm going back into the past and I'm exploring. I'm asking, where did this begin for Cynthia? Where did this feeling of not being able to trust really begin? So now I'm being guided back into lifetime. There's more than one, of course. There's many, 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 many lifetimes, but I want the original. I'm going back, back, back. So what I'm doing is I'm looking to see where that feeling of not trusting where I no longer see it, meaning I go back and I find it. I see it in that lifetime. I go further back. It's in that lifetime. I go back. Oh, it's not there. Okay. Then I move forward. Then I begin to get a sense of where it really began. So I go into a frequency. It's pretty intense energy. And it, okay, is it, is it dealing with, okay, is this a parental thing, mother thing? Yeah. So I go in and, and it's a major, um, there's a many, several components. I'm looking 
uh, with the, the images that are presenting. I don't normally tell people what I'm seeing, but occasionally, but this one, I'm looking at a lifetime. There's an, a very, a, there's an, a frequency of a, like a mother. She's very intense, actually abusive, shaming, humiliating, and actually physically abusive as well. And there's uh, the being that's now known as Cynthia is the child. And in, in, that, in that particular lifetime, there's, um, there's a lot of hurt. There's a lot of feelings of being betrayed, um, but also feelings like, uh, you know, she can't trust her own mom, you know, the trusting of the mother, okay? The trusting that mom's gonna take care of her, protect her, but no, the mother is being abusive. So I, um, what I'm seeing is, is emo that emotional experience, the intensity of that trauma, Cynthia was not able to, which is true for everyone, was not able to or capable of going through it because there's no teachings. But if, had she known to go through what it felt like, she wouldn't be carrying it over. But these emotions that were not felt got anchored into her soul frequency so that when she incarnated, the trauma of that is still in her subconscious. It is now in her soul imprint, it is carried over into this lifetime. And again, it doesn't get cleaned up and it never gets cleaned up. Otherwise she wouldn't be having these experiences. So now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna release agreements and contracts that she made at a soul level to know herself in these ways. And it isn't just with the mother, it's with many people. But as I unravel those soul agreements that she's made to know herself in these ways, those agreements come out of the body. We, I often put a white flame. I'm just gonna have Cynthia do that right now in front of you. Cynthia, I want you to put a white flame. We're gonna be pulling out agreements and contracts to know yourself in these ways of feeling betrayed, of feeling uh, you know, um, attacked and feeling insecure. These are deep feelings that got activated and created and anchored in in these past lives. So we're releasing agreements and contracts. Those agreements and contracts and look like pieces of paper, templates, tablets, sparks of light, words, energy, frequencies, colors, sounds. But you're releasing, releasing, releasing agreements and contracts into the white flame, dissolving, dissolving, dissolving. And then what I do is I'm going to show the soul levels where they made all these agreements and contracts. Where I've been doing a soul dance for eons of time showing them that there's been a dance back and forth, you know, that I'll hurt you, you hurt me, you abandon me, I reject you, on and on. Then I show the bigger picture at the soul level. There we go, and she gets it, there we go. Now, as that happens, now I go back, I start clearing out the trauma of those lifetimes because her soul woke up and realized the bigger picture and actually laughing about it. And then we start moving through the lifetime. But now I go right into, into Cynthia's subconscious. I'm going to go into that frequency. That's that deep, sad frequency, that feeling of betrayal, that feeling of rejection that's really anchored in deep into the subconscious. Now I'm starting to unravel and clear out those frequencies of deep, sad. So bringing in the light, 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 using the white flame as well. Dissolve, 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 dissolve. And I'm going to go into the subconscious as well, finding aspects of Cynthia that are stuck in the subconscious, hiding out, feeling afraid to be in the world because she can't trust anyone. Now I'm connecting directly with that aspect of Cynthia. And I'll be talking directly to her. Cynthia, sweetie, look at me. Your name is Cynthia now. Yes, it is. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, it's time to come home. You want to come home? Okay, she's telling me no. Okay, show me why you don't want to come home. Show me. Okay, now she's showing me. Like she's like, she's like, <laughs> she wants to play by herself. She's showing me. She doesn't like anybody. So I'm going to show her. I'm going to take her with me now. I'm going to take that little Cynthia. Okay, come with me. Well, I'm going to show you something. Come with, okay. She likes me. She's putting her arms around me. Now I'm going to carry her right up to where we made agreements. I'm going to show this little Cynthia so she sees it too. Look, 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 look. Look what's been happening. You've been doing lots of things too. Look at that. Yeah, see that? Now she's understanding. <laughs> okay, come, come, come. We come back into the subconscious. There we go. Now I'm going to show her. Yes, it's time to come home. Look at all these aspects of you. You've been all alone here. And look at all the aspects of you that you've been missing out on, that connection. You want to go home? Yes. Okay, now she wants to come home. So just so people understand, parts of us get pulled away. We get hidden, locked away different areas, and they're separated from the totality of who we are. 
this aspect of Cynthia has been a loner playing on herself, doesn't like people, wants to be alone, doesn't want to be connected, she doesn't trust anybody, but now she's seeing and understanding. Now she was ready to come home to the other aspects of her, which is all part of the unraveling and clearing and healing that has to take place. Now I'm pulling, she's with me. Yeah, there we go. Now I'm pulling her up. Now I'm, there we go. Now she's going to go right into Cynthia's heart where all these other aspects of Cynthia are. There we go. Even better. There we go. Now I'm going to go back into the subconscious and I'm going to start clearing out the pain of that feeling from those lifetimes, especially the original one being abused, being rejected, being blamed, being shamed, being humiliated, can't trust. And I'm releasing the trauma frequency in the subconscious as, yeah, there we go. Even the second chakra, first, second chakras. There we go, clear, light, light, light. Into the heart chakra as well. Protection, padding, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I start releasing those, the heartache, heartbreak, can't trust, can't, yeah, can't depend on anyone. Light, 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 dissolve, 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 clear, 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 clear. Good, light, 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 light. Okay, now, because healing is a process, it is layers, okay, layers upon layers. I start releasing the top layers, and then I'm going to find other layers. So the, how I do that now is that now I check in with Cynthia, and I have Cynthia feel in, back in to those same feelings that you are aware of, Cynthia, and this time as you feel in, it's going to feel different, but let me know now what it feels like. And as she's doing that, I'm going to be tracking, watching, sensing energy, okay? So Cynthia, now when you feel into those feelings, like when you think about mom, and you think about feeling like the, uh, like the betrayals are not trusting, and even your mom not trusting you, those emotions that you were lighting up, let me know how that feels now. Or what you notice. It's, it's way lighter, but I still feel there's a little a little bit that's kind of like a tip the tip of it or something like that. I feel okay. there's yeah does that okay. makes sense. And is it is it is it like a sadness? What is that feeling when you it, when you Yeah, it's sad. Sadness okay. mostly. Good. Okay, perfect. I got it. So what happens as she's feeling in and she's sharing with me what she's experiencing, I'm tracking and I already saw something. Now I'm going to go ahead and move some of this energy that I'm tracking. I'm, I have to tell you what it is. It's a discarnate. It's a sad, sad discarnate, sad little girl discarnate. Of course, remember, whatever we experience, discarnates attached to that. Same in you, same in me. Now I'm going to take that little one right there. Yeah, okay. Oh, she's really traumatized. Light, light, light. Bring in the light in. Bring it up. Loved ones. It's her. Yeah, loved ones presenting. There we go. Emissary. Good. Now I'm going to help that little girl. I'm going to actually, I'm going to put the white netting around her. That helps to calm her. Caption. There we go. Good, 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 good. Go, 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 go. Okay, clear. Now there's still something there. There's something else. What is this? What is this? Mm -mm -mm. Okay, what is it? Is this? It's like a black hole void wormhole. Is this a dark energy? What is this? Is it deep? Is it emotion? Yes. Okay, now I found another pocket of really deep, deep, deep emotion. Okay, there we go. I'm going to come in and start releasing that, that deep, 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 clear emotion. Yeah, dark emotion. Light, 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 clear, 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 dissolve, dissolve, dissolve. There we go. Dissolve, 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 dissolve. Energy's frequency is coming out, 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 out. Good, good, good. Okay, good. Now feel back in, Cynthia. Same thing. You're looking for the sad, whatever there that you're feeling. Let me know what you notice. I kind of just see like an image of my mom in my mind's eye now in front uh -huh. of me. Mm -hmm. and, and when you see her, how does that feel? Kind of a little like oppressive. Mm -hmm. Okay, let that be there. Got it. I got it. Yes. Okay. There is something like the mother did. There was, there was that kind of energy that caused Cynthia to feel like she's being oppressed. Okay. This is all part of all part of the unraveling. It's all part of the wound. So now I'm going to go into that frequency of, of that oppression. Yeah. 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 Let me start to dissolve that emotion. Yeah. 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 Clear, clear, clear. Make sure. Make sure I'm making sure as well that all of her mother's energy is out of her body. Frequencies and Cynthia is out of her mother. But that frequency of suppression being suppressed. Mm -hmm. This is actually really deep. 
There we go. So you're bringing light in, releasing the frequency of being suppressed, suppression, dissolve, 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 clear, light, 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 clear, 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 clear. <laughs> there, there we go. Good. Okay, good, 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 good. Okay, good. Now feel back in. Let's see what that feels like now. And let me know whatever presents, thought, feeling, sensations, emotions. Yeah, that image of her shrunk. Mm -hmm. It was really big in my mind's eye. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. So now when you see that or when you think about mom, how does that feel when you feel in? There's kind of that, um, it, it's, I guess it's a little bit like she always tries to control and manipulate. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. she does it, mm -hmm. she tries to do it, do it subtly now, but before it was mm -hmm. obviously very blatant, in my face. but now it's yeah. more subtle. Yeah. Okay. So now that whole thing about some manipulation, yeah, control manipulation. Okay. Yeah. 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 So that's another frequency inside of Cynthia's energy field, those frequencies of being controlled. And yeah, 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 being controlled and yeah, 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 okay, right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is also some other past life stuff, agreements and contract, coming out and all and void, suppression and and um, being, yeah, 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 right through there. Right, 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 okay, good. Okay, good, now I'm gonna start releasing the frequencies of suppression, controlled, clearing out those energies, light, 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 and I'll just corner as well, that I've lived to being controlled and, yeah, yeah, suppress, good, coming out, 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 clear, 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 light, 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 so just so y'all know, I'm actually taking out discarnate emotions, energy frequency, carry over, soul imprint, light, 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 clear, 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 I call forth the soul imprint, and I start releasing those energies out of the soul imprint, so she doesn't have to carry that forward into next incarnations, light, 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 clear, 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 there we go. Clear, 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 clear. Good. And then feel back in, Cynthia. Let's see how that feels now when you think about mom. It's kind of a, I'm not sure how to describe it. It's sort of like a dull. It's like a dull energy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. So, that, so the intensity is lessening. Now it's just more like a dull energy. So just people understand it's just getting all the parts, all the components all the pieces. So there's other energy, a little bit more energy still with mom. Okay, that has to do like a duller energy, wounding, heartache, heartbreak. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Going back in the subconscious, and then releasing even more energy frequency that does have that heartache, heartbreak, hurt feelings, the energies of yet yeah, mom energy, not having a, a real mom, not feeling loved by mom, not feeling seen by mom. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right, good, good. Well, energy frequencies, releasing those emotions. Light, 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 light. Clear, 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 clear. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep, so I'm just moving energy frequencies in out. Clear, 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 clear. Now to bring her heart frequency. Open, open, open. Light, 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 light. Good. Good, good, good. Okay, good. See how that feels now when you feel in, thinking about mom. <clears throat> it's anger again. Mm-hmm. Okay, let the, now let that anger, just let it be there. Just let it be there, let it be there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, good, now get out of the way. Just listen to my voice. So now I'm just going in, there's there's anger, but underneath the anger, there's actual rage, frequency. Uh-huh, okay, I'm just gonna label it. I got hatred. <laughs> light, 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 light. Hatred, despising, loathing. <laughs> Good, getting discarnates out, getting aid, old and emotions out, past life energies out, clearing out all this rage, despise. Yeah, 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 yeah. Clear, light. Clear, 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 clear. Light, 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 light. Dissolve, 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 clear, light, 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 light. Good, go, 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 out, 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 go, 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 go. And then more Cynthia back into her energy, feel back into her body. Good, 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 good. Okay, good, feel back in, let's see how that feels. It's 
feels way better. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, softer, more neutral. Mm -hmm. I guess more like right now, I the only thing I could sense is kind of just like a confusion. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I just let that be there and then get out of the way and just listen to my voice. Yeah, light, 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 clear, 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 light, light, light. So the frequency of confusion, yep, 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 good. Lost energy frequencies and the discarnates attached to confusion, bringing in the light, clearing out the frequency, light, 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 being out, 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 clear, clear. <laughs> good, 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 good. Okay, good. Oh, all right. Okay. So sometimes, too, we want to let things settle in because there's a lot of good movement. We got some really good movement happening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, so see how that's feeling now? That's a lot lighter. Okay, so what I'd like to bring for people's awareness is through this, what what's happened for you? So again, you felt some emotion and then now when you look for it, it's not there. So if, if you wanna share anything about that so people can understand that, you know, it's all about the emotion. Whatever that emotion is, we clear that emotion. We're also clearing and releasing all the agreements and contracts, all the past lives, all the carryover. You know, all the karma, all of these things are getting cleared so that it doesn't exist anymore. So you don't recreate it again. So, I mean, that's what it's really about. That's what clearings are about. So anything that you want to share about what that was like for you, Cynthia, to help people understand. Yeah, that was really um, intense because, you know, my mom, that's one of the biggest issues for me throughout my whole life. And my dad, but I worked, you know, I've worked on this these two issues for uh, quite a while. And my dad's stuff is like, I, like I'm a lot clearer on that generally. And the mom's yeah. stuff is just so sticky for me. It's, yeah. yeah. There was a lot that um, with all the work that I've done, there's just still stuff that I can't find myself. I sure. don't have, yes. you know, I don't have your advanced like teachings. I haven't taken your advanced teachings yet. And even if I did, maybe I have blind spots with myself too. Right. Well, we do. We do. Mm -hmm. I just want to say something about that. I still get clearings, just so you know, because I can't find everything. If I can't find something, I'm going to get help. I can clear a lot. I've done 90% of my, all my healings, all my clearings. And occasionally we, we do need help. And if you're not like capable or able to work like I do with my own self, you're going to need help. That's just what it is. Yeah. So yeah. coming back to what you experienced, like in this, you know, unraveling. Yeah. So each time you asked me, um, I could feel, you know, just a different emotion or a different, mm -hmm. if it was the same emotion, it was a different quality of it or a different, right. you know, um, yes. or, or maybe I could feel it in a different area of my body or something. Like right. That. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Uh, yeah. Yes. And then, and that's that once. unraveling. That's the layers. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And each time you would work on it and then. I could just feel the shifts that were occurring in different areas of my body. And then my mm -hmm. emotions would change. And then you would ask me, uh, you know, to feel back in. And I noticed it could be like a completely different emotion or right. just, you know, a different, I guess, different intensity of, of similar. Right. Things. And then it right. sometimes it cycles back around. Like I started with anger and then like one of the last ones was anger again. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. then then it was that then it was like connected to deeper stuff when the original anger was sitting on top of a lot of hurt. So the cool thing is is these kind of healings, it'll change your connection with your mother, it'll change your relationship. You know, sometimes we don't really like people, but there is always that love. And it doesn't mean we hang out with anybody. But the the thing is is we want to be free from holding resentment or feeling, you know, hurt or all of that. It's about liberation for the self. It's all about liberating, you know, the emotions so that we can be free to express ourselves and love because it's all about opening the heart. Period. That's it. Hands down. Open that heart. All and like right. You said earlier, um, yeah. Like you said earlier about how 
our uh, how we feel about our parents and our mom is related to <laughs> other things. So uh, yeah, I, I could already like feel everything. the difference. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I could already feel the difference on how I'm relating to certain things that just occurred in my life recently that right. really got me in a place of really feeling confused. And, uh-huh. and when you're kind of in that, when you're really intense, like in your face, yeah, it can be hard to have a, like a perspective that allows you to really see it in a different way, I guess, to like pull, pull yeah. back when you're having like that reaction right at that moment to like kind of pull back from it and, mm-hmm. you know, and see it more objectively or know how to navigate through it. It's a little harder. And then now that I have the clearing with you, I could kind of push back too a little bit more and see it more clearly as well as all, of yeah. course, all the interferences and stuff lifted as well. So um, right. all that's going to help. And I could already feel the difference in how I'm relating to other things, not just mm-hmm. my mom. Right, right. I mean, it's all connected. All right, cool. So hopefully this will be helpful for people to have a better sense of what does it look like? What's really happening? What am I doing? Or what are my accelerators doing when we're doing a clearing? We're clearing energy. And this is what it looks like. And if it's not the absolute, energy can move. Emotions are quite easy to move. And of course, there's time when we do have to feel things. But a lot of the emotions that we're having are just carried over, repeats, recycle. We don't need to keep doing it. So clear it and release it and be done. Very cool. And then why would you want to feel all the stuff that's not you still? Like, you know how you talk about you feel feel it all the way and then <laughs> yeah, move through yeah. it and it'll release. But a lot of that stuff is not necessary not to feel. Yeah. So yeah. clear all but that people stuff don't know it. That. Yeah. <laughs> people don't know it though, Cynthia. People think right. that all that energy they're feeling is them and it's not. So you know, until you wake up, you're going to think it's all you, but magic happens. Clearings are simple. It's not about your story. You get, you get clearings, your life changes. You're more open. Your heart's more open. You're more authentic to yourself. And you didn't have to go into major story and major crying and, you know, emotions, all of that. So I'm just want to reiterate Clearings are very, very powerful, potent ways to evolve and wake up and be free from our suffering. And if people really like this demo and you want to see other types of videos like this, it's different than what has been posted before on YouTube. And let us know in the comments. What do you think about that, Bonnie? Yes, very good. Yes. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Like this video, subscribe and comment below. And thank you. Welcome. I'm Bonnie Saratori with Spiritual Acceleration. Really glad you're here. I'm very excited to be sharing this aspect of Cynthia's experience. So we did we did some clearing. We did an actual clearing. I wanted to demonstrate what a clearing was. I wanted to give information, show what happens, talk about what I'm doing as I'm doing it. And then uh, we want to now share the experience that Cynthia's had, along with she did do the um, loving dad on Father's Day, which was truly about releasing, you know, lots of different energy frequencies. And she also had some shifting from that. So I'm just really excited to be sharing this so people can get a better understanding of what a clearing is. What does it do? So there you go. So Cynthia. All right. Thanks, Bonnie. I've only had two private sessions with Bonnie so far, and those have been some of the biggest shifts I had throughout my whole journey, Um, not just with Bonnie's work, but just throughout my whole journey of of healing. And so the that for in that first video, what happened, I really want to point this out, Bonnie, is I came to you with something in particular, and I'm not going to give the very details because I want to keep that private. But I came to you with um, issues around like a company that I had, um, you know, I, I was using their services for years and they basically in some ways kind of betrayed their customers and many customers of theirs felt really betrayed. And that is what I came to Bonnie with was that. And she right away saw right through all of it and said, this is really just your mom issues. Right, Bonnie. <laughs> can can I just want to say something, Cynthia? Um, you know, here's the thing: no matter what someone is going through, 
when you look at everything, I have to tell you, everything is connected, no matter what it is. It's all interconnected. So it's just finding the root cause. I just wanted to say that, but go go ahead, Cynthia. Yeah, I love that because you know, I I don't I definitely know what you mean about that, how everything's interconnected. And there's just so much that it's so hard to navigate for somebody who doesn't have the ability to kind of look in to a person's yeah. energy and their subconscious. And so I, I had that big reaction with what happened and I felt feelings like I can't trust, I felt betrayed, uh, the doubt, you know, things like that. And when I described it to you, you just said, let's just not even talk about this. Let's go straight to your mom issues. <laughs> I was like, okay, let's. let's That's do it. right. Yeah, yeah. Because and and Cynthia did. I mean, didn't your mind kind of think it wasn't about mom? You know what I mean? Like when you're when you're trying to understand something, and someone says, "Well, let's just go direct to your mom issues." I mean, you know, this is something out here. This is something with a company, a business, and that type of thing. Yeah, it's it definitely at the first I thought. Oh, that's interesting. Um, but I also understand how everything's interconnected. Yeah. I have a deep, I think yeah. I have a um, more uh, deeper understanding than the average person about that. Yeah. And yeah. I also know that you know what you're talking about. <laughs> so I was like, okay, let's just do it. Let's just go. Um, and yeah. you did maybe less than 30 minutes. I don't even yeah. think it was 30 yeah. minutes, maybe 20. Yeah. I don't know. I haven't rewatched that video yet and to yeah. edit it. Um, but it was, it was just, I can't explain how different it is from the group clearings because I've done healing work on my mom for years and I have definitely made progress. There's no doubt about it. I healed a lot of stuff and I listened to a lot of group clearings with the mom issues that helped me so much. But when I did the one-on-one -on -one with you, it was more of a complete, it felt more complete and it, it definitely went deeper. And I noticed that different things in my life, I just felt like everything was different. It wasn't just even that the issues I had with the company. And I noticed the very next day, I, okay, so I have issues with like working out because I haven't worked out in like three years or so. And, and I don't know why. And it's because I used to work out quite a lot before. And all of a sudden, sometime three years ago, I just didn't want to. I just started getting lazy. And and then I, st um, I used to be vegan for like three years. And it was super easy for me. And all of a sudden, around the same time, you know, as the working out issues, um, I just didn't eat as healthy anymore. It, it wasn't like bad, but it was, still wasn't as good. And then literally the next day after the clearing, I just felt like, oh, I want to eat healthier. And I did. It wasn't just a feeling. I did it. It was so easy. And mm -hmm. I actually want to go for a run. <laughs> wow. And one of the reasons why I don't run anymore is because I had a really bad ankle injury years ago, too. And after that, I didn't run. But now it's like, oh, I can. And all that was mom stuff. And those are just a few things that were just very immediate. <laughs> yeah. But I could yeah. feel everything shifts. like. The way yes. I'm looking at everything, those are just the, the immediate things that I noticed right away. Yeah. And um, also it was, you, you worked on me, it was last Thursday, and then you did the group clearing on the dad on yeah, Friday. Friday. So I, I, I did both back to back and, you know, my dad issues, that's definitely much more clear than my mom's stuff for sure. Like there's, I could feel it. And um. I've done a lot of work on my dad's stuff too, but there was always this little thing every time I would interact with him, there was a little trigger that I could, could never figure out. And no matter no matter what I did, um, and the over the weekend, there was a, a family gathering. So I, right, with my brothers and cousins, my brother, he made like pulled pork right? And, and my dad made tacos. He had had with taco shells. And so I put, <laughs> I put the pulled pork in the taco shells, right? And it, this might not make sense to you, but my dad's the kind of guy who's like, he would yell at you for that. Because <laughs> you're not supposed to put the pulled pork in the taco shells. You're supposed to put the pulled pork in the hamburger buns, right? Okay. <laughs> He's that yeah. kind of guy. And yeah. he, 
uh, and so I I did that, and he saw it, and he just laughed like it wasn't a big deal. He he actually thought it was funny, and then I noticed other people saw me do that or and saw me eating it that way, and they went and got a taco shell, <laughs> and like my brother did that, and my uncle did that. I think my aunt as well, and he yelled at them. He was like, "What are you doing? <laughs> Don't put that in there." And I, I thought, well, you know, obviously I'm not laughing at him doing that, saying that to them, because I, I don't find that funny. But what I find funny is he didn't, he didn't act that way to me. But if it was like a few right. months ago, he would have done that. Yes. He would have yelled yes. at me and got, you know, criticized yes. me, all that stuff. And that's, right. you know, so, that's the, that's something that, you know, I, I would expect right. from him too. Right. 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 And he just laughed he didn't and it wasn't a laughter he wasn't laughing at me he was genuinely amused by me right the pulled pork in right. the taco show yeah. I know this yeah. sounds like a silly story no, I but... did, I, and I, and I want to say something about that Cynthia because this is what happens okay I just want to do something let's just say that you guys have been dancing you know doing the soul dance interaction and you've been vibrating at a certain certain frequency okay the dance was like this and then Cynthia does some changes. Cynthia clears up the dad stuff. So her energy is no longer the same. The dance shifted automatically because his soul levels, his energy, his emotional levels were not coming back up against the same energy that he was used to. Okay. She shifted. So he too shifted with her. People, this is what happens you shift and clear energy your dance with anybody is going to change i think it's important that you understand that i change my experience of the world changes but everybody experiences me differently and that's what happened pretty cool yeah it was pretty amazing and I, I noticed, you know, I also felt like if he did do that to me, I wouldn't have had a reaction at all either. So that's the other part. So Your reactions, exactly. You would not have had the same experience that you've had in the past. This is mm -hmm. important for people to understand. I mean, it's not about any story. You didn't have to tell your story. You didn't have to go cry. You didn't have to do anything. You just got cleared. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's true. And I th I feel like that's one of the final pieces with my dad. Like I feel like it's almost 100% done with him. Mm -hmm. And yeah. it I think the rest of the stuff might be cuz you know um one time in the podcast, one of the podcast episodes you I think it was the past life one, you read into my dad and um the soul's journey that I have with my dad in past lives. Uh -huh. Right. You said something like I've been doing the soul dance with him, the same traumas for like 160 past yeah, lives yeah, yeah. or something. Yeah, so you said something yeah. like, I'm like, wow. And you said yeah. something that really um, helped me because we were talking about how effective the group clearings are that you have. And not just the group, I mean, all the clearings, the private sessions. And we were talking about how, how, um, just different how impactful they are in clearing up all these interferences other people's emotions but then you also said that there are times where you still have to know yourself in something yes so no matter times, how much yeah yes, yes do yes. you want to um, talk about that yes well? yes sometimes okay there are emotions that we will need to feel okay so a lot of energy can literally be shifted especially all the past life stuff but when we go into really deep, deep, deep emotions, like really deep trauma, that's really anchored in. And we've had these experiences that were so intense, so overwhelming, we just couldn't face them. There's going to be energy that we're going to have to feel. And what I mean by that is, let's just say in Cynthia's past, in, in just different, different relationship other than the father, but let's just say that she had a major shattering uh in the heart and that created a lot of emotion that got anchored into the subconscious carried over in the soul imprint into her future incarnations and 
never did she ever un fully unwind it. Well, what will happen is something in this lifetime or even future will present that's going to hit that really deep, deep, deep wound in the heart. And we can take and release a lot like we do with the father issues and just start spinning out and releasing a lot of the emotion. But if we go deeper, there's trauma that's anchored in. And all of us as humans, as souls evolving, there are emotions that we have to know ourselves in. That's how we also stop recreating that same kind of emotional experience. It may look different, but it's activating a certain emotion. And sometimes we do have to go in and know that emotion by dropping in, surrendering to it, feeling it all the way so that as a soul, we now know this experience. We know it, we've done it, we've lived it, we've experienced, we've released it and we are done. So there are times when yes, we can get clearings and there's a lot gone, but occasionally well, for everyone, everyone's going to have places that they're going to have to face and feel all the way, all the way into the depth of that. And then that energy shifts and releases completely. Most energies though, most emotional energies, we can just spin them right out. No problem. Trauma, we can spin out. But again, there are certain life experiences that the soul has to know itself fully in, in that, to put in that surrender to that experience, to that emotion, to know itself in that fully. So if you've never, if you're for a soul and you've had these major experiences and you've never let yourself fully drop in, you're not going to get away with someone just spinning out the emotions. You are going to have to know it yourself. And that's how that, you know, how the healing takes place and how the soul evolves. So I mentioned that, Bonnie, because right after we filmed that episode, you talked about um, how I need to still feel something around my dad, like there's no going around it. And I'm somebody who I, if I know that I'm going to do it, like I just run it to my stuff. I don't run away from it. Yes. Right. <laughs> yeah. 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 And so I went and just decided, okay, I'm going to feel some of my dad issues, try to go as deep as possible. And that was like the most intense, I think, energy that I have ever found. Like I found something I never even knew was there. I never even touched it before. Right. And mm -hmm. It was like, I can't even describe it. It was so intangible, but it, it was just like this blackness. It was like yeah. despair. Yeah. And yes. I also felt like no one could have gotten me there other than my dad. Like that very specific, right? whatever that was, that I don't even yes. know what it was, but I, I dropped into it. I found it. I allowed myself to just sit in it. Like I didn't wow. judge it myself. I just allowed Good. myself to, to experience it. And I had a really, really huge shift there. Now I feel like my dad issues, it's really just removing the rest of his energy that might be in me. And, right, and, and then right. that might be it. And I'm done. Yeah, I really don't feel like that. I need to do any more of the deep, deep healing, the deep feeling mm -hmm. part around that. Because that right. time I did it, it was that was so dark. I can't even even describe how it felt. Right. But right. I, I yeah. did it, you know. You did it. You did. I can see it. I can see the energy in your body. Like when I look at dad's stuff, there's more, you know what I mean? It's more like um, there's more of a neutrality. You know, your your wounding isn't getting activated because you you faced it and, you know, with all the stuff you've been doing. And then those those days, you know, the, the Thursday, Friday, and then what you did on your own, girl, you've you've really shifted some good energy. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. I could feel everything is, is different. It's yeah. only been a week. So obviously that, you know, outwardly yeah. certain things have already changed, but as I, I'm in a way, I kind of feel like I don't, I'm in that transition where I don't even really know how to be yeah. in the world right now. Like, I don't uh -huh. know how to relate to the world right now because right. right, right, so right. much has changed. Like, I don't know who I am yet, but mm -hmm. I know yeah. what I yeah. am or what I'm becoming is way better <laughs> yeah. than what I was. That and wasn't so you, though. See, that's the other component is that really wasn't you. That was the false ego, the, the, you know, the self-preservation, the protection, the ego itself, the false self, the false ego. That's dissolving. And now the real authentic Cynthia is presenting. And I truly understand that feeling like that. Who am I? Because we've been living our lives with these beliefs or feelings, sensations, reactions 
all of our lives. And then when it's not there, it's like, whoa, whoa, who am I? Whoa. But who you really are, you're, you know, the truth of everybody is that pure unconditional love and light, which is what we really want to be living and expressing. And that's what's happening for you. You're just going to find yourself showing up differently, sharing differently, you know, more empowered. I mean, it's just, a, it's, I understand that feeling like, well, who am I, you know, but every time we have a major shift, we are feeling like, well, who am I? And it'll all soften, unravel, and you'll feel like, whoa, this is amazing. I love who I am. Here's the thing. It's like, it's subtle in some areas and other ways. It's like, whoa, I feel really different. Wow. I'm not having a reaction. Whoa. My mind's not going into story. I'm not even thinking, you know, it's like your you're, everything just falls away. Things get quieter. Their mind gets quieter. The mind chatter gets quieter. You know, every, everything starts to shift and change. And what's really happening is that true, authentic you is I can see that light in you now. It's like before there was just like all this masking over, but now I can actually see it. It doesn't mean there aren't some other frequencies, you know, but the true energy of you is really coming forth. And this is what it's all about. You know, we want to come back to the true energy of who we are. We want to come back to that pure love and light that we are. We want to live life without attachments and judgments and fault finding and victimization. And that's what happens. You know, for you, Cynthia, maybe areas where you did feel like victimized when you when you experience those same kind of thoughts or energies or whatever, it's not going to feel the same. I mean, everything has shifted, shifted. Yeah. And I even, oh, I, this is a good point too, Bonnie, uh, going back to the um, clearing my mom's energy out of me and, and the mom issues is oh, uh -huh. before when I sometimes, you know, I told you I was vegan for like three years. And sometimes when I would be eating, she was not around, but I could just feel her judging me from what I'm eating. Oh, and wow. I was like, that's so strange, right? Because, and then I would work out and I could just feel her presence there judging me. I think that was a big reason why when I tried to start like eating better again and working out again during my the time when I just felt like I couldn't, um, like I think that was such a big block there because there was something about her that didn't want me to make those changes or something. I don't know, but I could feel my mom around all the time. Mm -hmm. And when you did that, it's like, she's gone. Like, yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. Is So I when you know, see, I do. when yeah. you see, I'm kind of curious, like, um, like when you saw that as mom issues, like, how does that even show up when you're, when you're working with somebody or you could use me as an example there. Like how do you actually see the mom's energy? Yeah, I actually, no, I don't, I don't see a physical form of mom, but what happens is, is, when I'm just looking to get a sense of something, the freak, I see an energy frequency. Like when I, so here's what happens. Again, it doesn't look like your mom, but what, but I see the energy. It has a certain uh, color to it. So it was kind of uh, dark grayish, blackish gray energy, but the frequency, because it is her energy, I could feel and I and sense and know, oh, that's mom, because it is her negative energy, okay? And, and then what happens is, is that by clearing that out, her energy comes out. I release you from her, from her energy field as well. Okay. And then, um, so I'm clearing your energy field. I'm clearing her. I'm put, taking you out of her, her out of you. And then all of a sudden mom's thoughts or her feelings or her beliefs or her judgments or whatever, they don't exist in you anymore because she's not in you anymore. But basically, it doesn't matter who's in your body, even if they're not like I don't see her, like I said, I don't see the physical presence of her, but the energy, the emotional energy is there. And it was definitely mom's energy. So for me personally, what happens is it doesn't matter who's in your body. I can feel if it's a dark force energy. I can feel if it's a father, mother, bro, you know what I mean? It just I can identify what it is without having to see someone's figure or form or whatever, because it's their emotional energy. But I do want to say, you know, everyone is living with their mother, father inside of them until you clear it out. If you haven't done specific clearing 
specifically to remove your mother on your body, I promise you, she's still in there. I don't care who you are, dead or alive, <laughs> your mom's still in there, okay? And you're gonna have her thoughts, you're gonna be, you know, all these, kind of like what Cynthia's talking about, as well as your own experience but when she's gone, you can feel the lightness of it. She's not there anymore. Yeah, it feels so different. Mm -hmm. And I, I just want to let people know that, you know, I've only had two private sessions with you. They were only maybe like 30 minutes-ish. And the difference, it, it's indescribable. It really mm -hmm. is. Private sessions, especially with Bonnie, it's, it's just... If you think you it's know what Bonnie does, yeah, like, <laughs> like if you think yeah, you know you think what Bonnie you know does, what I just do, from I group promise clearance. you don't. No. <laughs> no way. <laughs> There's no way to describe what I do. There's no way. No, your mind can't and, comprehend it. And you know, I've had, you know, I before I found your work, I've been doing all sorts of other energy healing techniques. I've seen many other healers, and I even worked with, um, you know, one on one with a pretty well known healer who charges a lot charges more than you and i had like three sessions with them back to back and i it doesn't even compare i didn't have much shift at all from those other ones right and right. then with you yeah the two times i had with you those were some of the biggest shifts i ever had right and then like i think the other one was with tina because the specific issue i brought up with her was big mm -hmm. and so she yeah. was able to clear it and that mm -hmm. um yeah so it and those were issues that i've had really going on my whole life and, and now it just feels like i'm free of them completely. right right and what's so cool cynthia see what people don't understand is that all our traumas we recreate them over and over because we haven't cleared them we don't know them we haven't been in the body to feel those emotions and as we clear them it's like we're releasing all this traumas, all these experiences that we don't need and don't want to keep carrying forward to the soul frequency starts to get clearer and clearer and clearer. And then pretty soon we're not recreating all these horrors, all these dramas, all these losses, all these victimizations. We're creating more of an experience of love and light, happiness, joy, which is what we're really here to experience. But because People don't have higher level teachings. You can't find these teachings anywhere. So when people start to understand what's, what this is really about and they start waking up, then, they're, then they start to discover, wow, this is an amazing opportunity that you know we can be done with this over and over karma and darkness and pain and suffering. We can, we can finally come to an end with this. And it's it's all it is, is clearing the emotional traumas. It's just simple as that. Well, not quite, but <laughs> I mean, because sometimes there's enemies and curses and evil and darkness and all kinds of stuff, but all of that also can get cleared, all of it. So, you know, it's an amazing path. It's an amazing, uh, deep, profound, unraveling, shifting. And people, I do, I, I, for me, the reason why I'm doing what I do is I wanted to end my own suffering. And I discovered the way to do that directly, hands-on, not through any other teacher, no one. I would just go direct, you know, I'd discover something and unravel it and discover, whoa, this is how we do it. Yeah. While you were saying that, I was just thinking about when I first found you, I found you on Darius's show more than a year oh, ago. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then I, uh, um, it was really funny because I think the way he introduced you in the beginning was I paid attention because he said something like uh, demons run away from Bonnie or something like that. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, I better pay attention because yeah. I, you know, yeah, yeah, I have yeah. so many attacks. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and nobody, yeah. nobody could help me with the, the right, psychic attacks, right. the dark force attacks. Yeah. I was like, oh, I better pay attention to this interview. Yeah. I listened to the whole thing. I was lying down the whole time. So when you started clearing, I was in a oh, perfect yeah. position. <laughs> you were there. And, yeah. uh, cool. and so, uh, and then after the clearing, I, I remember thinking, oh my gosh, I got to buy this package. I needed, I needed, I think I told you before I was done. Yeah, with you bought, I didn't okay. want to buy anything yeah, ever you just again. Bought, yeah, yeah, yeah. You did share <laughs> and that. Then, not to pack up. <laughs> and then when I found you, like, 
but I told myself I wouldn't buy any any energy healings anymore. And I was like, but I have to buy this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I remember I that. Even... That was cute. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't you buy package A first and then you kept buying more or something? So you got oh, to yeah, see. I can't I, remember. Yeah. I bought package <laughs> A with Darius a show. And then it was like one day later, I listened to all of them. And then mm -hmm. I wrote to um, the customer support saying, can I upgrade <laughs> my package? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Because I needed so more. Cute. Yeah. Yeah, and yeah. Then I, well, you I got it, thinking, you know, you got yeah. it. Yeah. And I knew right away, I was like, this is it. This is, I've experienced so many other healers and teachers. And when I found your, you, I, like, I was like, this lady's the one. I said, mm -hmm. I said the one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the real deal. <laughs> like, she's the one. She's the one who I've been waiting for my whole life. This is it. And and, and I, I'm glad I, you know, um, I stuck with it because, you know, some people, they find you and then, and then I don't know if they, they realize what they found. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Sometimes yeah. I'm, I'm one of the... See, Go that's ahead. part of the, that's part of the issue is people really don't understand what it is we really do, that I do, that my accelerators do. They don't really get it. You know, it sounds like anything else out there when you go, oh yeah, they're doing shamanic work. Oh yeah, they're doing emotional, whatever, whatever. But nobody knows how to track like we do. Nobody. Yeah, that's and if that's what it's really yeah. about. It's about tracking. Yeah, and having the awareness of, well, oh, there is so much to be aware of that people have no clue about. But you don't need to. When you got a healer like my team and myself, it doesn't matter what you know or don't know. I just guarantee you, you're going to feel shifted. So I want to ask the audience if they liked these two episodes, because these are different. We haven't done anything like this before, and it's really mm -hmm. just kind of I guess you could say it's following Cynthia's journey on healing this particular issue. And yeah. what I brought up to Bonnie earlier was if we had, say, a series of following one person, if not me, it could be someone else with an accelerator and they bring a, one issue that they've been struggling with their whole life, perhaps. And, and then the accelerator works with them, kind of like what Bonnie did with me. And maybe it could be like three sessions or five sessions or however long it needs to and and we you you basically follow them through that journey you see it what they do in the healings um is this something that would interest the audience is that something you would want to see so let us know in the comments of this video let us know if you are interested in something like that i think it would be interesting because it'll give people a closer look at how the one-on-one -on -one sessions are and what are the all the different components that could be going on with just one thing <laughs> <laughs> yeah, one issue, many, many components. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Beautiful. Thank you. Um, anything you want to add to that, Bonnie, to end that? I say if you're curious, we do have a clinic, which is a, a way to be introduced to the work. It's only 15 minutes. It's like highly discounted, but you get a sense of what can actually happen. Like you have 15 minutes, one issue. And, and people are loving it. So that's a great way to be introduced to it if you're fam not familiar with the work, but you're curious, but not quite ready to invest. That's one way to get a direct, you know, one-on-one -on -one kind of experience. So many, we have many, many ways to help you. And I just encourage you to explore, find out, discover what we're all about. All right, thank you everybody. Like this video, subscribe and comment below. And thanks for watching. Thank you, Bonnie. Thank you, Cynthia.